Hey Lingers, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here and if you're new, hey what's up, my name's Ling, what you saying? <laughs> so in today's video I'm going to be testing out and do a full face of makeup revolution and before you say anything or think of anything, this makeup that I have on right now is actually not the full face of makeup revolution, I actually just filmed this for my Instagram so if you're interested in how to achieve this look I'll leave a link down below for you guys. I have a lot a lot of Makeup Revolution products. Like, it's been a minute, and when I mean a minute, it's been like a year since I last used Makeup Revolution because, I don't know, I just feel like there's so many makeup brands out there and it's so hard for one person to try out every single brand and revisit that brand, you know? Makeup Revolution has been a long time, honey, and I got some products from them, and look at this. This is wicked, like, this is huge. This is like bigger than my head. <laughs> I got a little bit of everything, but uh, big bag right here. I got highlighters, I got the lip liners, I even got the new foundations as well which I have never tried so I cannot wait to try them out. And I got the concealers as well. Now I have finally tried out the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer so I can kind of like do a comparison for you guys. But anyway, let's get started and let me just take this off. I do want to let you guys know that this is a first impression so I might like some of the products later. So the products that I might dislike in this video I might like it another time or some of the products that I do like I might dislike it another time. You just never know. And I also want to let you guys know that when it comes to watching like review videos watch it with an open mind and like don't always go with that person's judgement. You should still give that product a chance because you just never know that it could be a product that could work for really well for you if you know what I'm saying like a lot of people would say oh I don't like using this product but then when I go ahead and use it I'm like I love it so poor then he suffocated myself with that I just want to let you guys know because I just want to keep it real with you guys oh, I'm trying to take off this makeup without ruining my eyebrows because eyebrows are the longest thing to do when it comes to doing your makeup okay I think I did a good job at taking off my makeup without ruining my eyebrows no Sorry guys, all the products like on my floor. I managed to get F4 and F3. I'm gonna probably mix these two together. So first impression, packaging is gorgeous. I love the rose gold and the nude together. Make it revolution, you are sick and then. Oh my god, packaging is looking sick, looking prestige, feeling a little premium as well. I love it, love it, love it. I don't have any brushes from them. I don't know if Make It Revolution does do brushes. No, they do do brushes. It's just that I just didn't pick anything up. So I'm just gonna use my own brushes. I hope you guys are okay with that. Let me just quickly moisturize my skin because I cannot judge a foundation without my skin being properly hydrated. So, BRB. I just wanna like just say some things about Makeup Revolution foundation sticks because I'm really interested. So it's five pounds. There's 18 shades, which is so sick by the way. Oh my God, thank you Makeup Revolution for like including everyone, not just doing like 10 shades. You have 18, like high five. It's fast base foundation, quickly perfects contours and highlights your complexion. The easy to apply stick formula melts into skin, blending seamlessly. Let's remember that guys, because you just never know. It might not work out for me. To leave a fresh and dewy finish. A foundation stick that leaves a dewy finish. Okay. Yeah, you can blend up with fingers, a beauty sponge, or your favorite foundation brush. Okay. Pray that this is my shade. I don't think it is though. Look how white that is. Anyway, let's carry on. Wow, that is white. <laughs> what about this one? Oh my god. Oh, why am I like this? This is so embarrassing. I am so sorry guys for picking up the wrong shade. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out and buy another one of these and do a separate video. Let me know if you guys still wanna see that because I feel like it's not fair for me to test out a foundation that's not my shade for one because it's just, it just looks ridiculous. I mean, come on, James Charles here. Let me know if you guys still want me to test out the foundation. We can play a little game with these foundations when I get my right shade and probably test out with another foundation maybe. I don't know, let me know what you guys think but I just don't think it's fair that I test out a foundation that's not my shade especially when it's not close to my shade I'm just gonna quickly put on my base and be right back you know when you have one of those friends who are like really ditzy and dumb believe it or not that's me yeah you know picked up a foundation shade two foundation shades that's not even my shade do you know what I think it might be because I think it might be my shade it's probably the sticker no I'm gonna just I don't know anyway 
Now I do have three concealers, one for contouring, one for highlighting, and maybe potentially one that could be like my actual skin color. I don't know, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have got C7, C3, and C13. So first impressions are on this. Packaging is cute, I love it. Love how it's like rose goldy pink as well. Uh, I'm loving this vibe. Makeup revolution come through with the cute packaging. So the concealer, what does it do? It's for blah, 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 blah. Lightweight yet full coverage concealer to cover blemishes, even out skin tone and counteracts dark circles with a matte finish that won't set or accentuate fine lines and pores. Long wearing intense pigment. I like the sound of that because I love full coverage concealers. I just feel like they give me a facelift whenever I put concealer underneath my eyes. Our large dope foot applicator allows for smooth application that won't drag on the delicate skin under your eye. It says to dot. I'm just gonna listen to what they say and do dots instead. So I'm gonna use the shade C7. Oh. Come on concealer, come to mummy. And then with my beauty blender, I'm just gonna go in and blend that out. Okay, wow, pigment, come through. This is wow, like, wow. Okay, on camera, it looks so scary. I don't know why, but in person, it's not as white, okay? I just wanna make that clear. I don't know why it looks so white on camera. That's really funny. I'm just gonna go over a little bit of my foundation just to like, you know, even out so I don't scare you guys. Ooh. I like that so much and I'll tell you why because it feels lightweight it definitely claims that it's lightweight and it definitely feels it so I'm glad that they stuck to what they say the pigment is there I'm loving how my face is you know I'm happy so this side I'm just gonna blend out with my it cosmetics brush this one is called the number seven concealer and all over brush just want to see how well this foundation and um, this concealer does with a brush no I prefer a sponge for sure I think because of the consistency of the concealer it just works well with a sponge like it's one of those concealers that needs to be a little bit absorbed into the sponge in order to give you like a flawless finish. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and contour. I am using the shade C13. So it's a little bit of like a warm honey, deep honey type of shade. Is that too much? Who cares? And go in with my sponge again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, the color is nice. If you are like a similar skin tone to me, just so you guys know, my foundation shade in MAC is NC30. If you are like that foundation shade, C13 could be your contour and potentially a bronzer shade as well because it's got that nice warmth to it. Like, oh my god. God, yes, come through. Make it revolution. It doesn't look muddy. It blends beautifully as well into the skin, which I am loving. Guys, I'm happy so far. Now, the question is, does it compare to the Tarte Shape Tape? Yes and no. And the reason why I say no is because the Tarte Shape Tape, it feels a little bit thicker. But this, it feels way more lightweight. So that's just crazy. And I think the reason why people like to compare the two together just because of the adult fit applicator that's what i personally think anyway guys this is a win-win like i know we're not at the end of the video where i do my overall review but the concealer is winning oh my god i'm happy and look at my nose contour yes all right so now that that is on i'm gonna go ahead and dip into this because it has a little bit of everything it's got a yellow powder in there it's got blushes in there it's got contour powder in there i am loving the packaging makeup revolution is killing it i swear to god like i feel like if you are planning to be a makeup artist and you want to try it out and be a freelance definitely check out makeup revolution pro because this is wicked like if i was a client and you used to do my makeup and you bought this out i'd be like oh my god what is that because it looks incredible like it looks like a professional piece of products and a lot of makeup parts they like to carry like chanel dior or smashbox or estee lauder like the really high-end makeup brands but this looks equally like the same okay let me see how much this costs because i am so curious girl it's 15 pounds <laughs> shit <sighs> makeup revolution all right, I'm now gonna go in and do a little bit of, let's just contour, let's just go for it, shall we? I'm gonna go in with Honontor. <laughs> Interesting word. Wow, I went in once and look how much products picked up. 
Oh, there is kickback though. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there is a little bit of kickback, which is not a bad thing. You just got to be really careful, especially when you are doing makeup on other people. You don't want to like, you know, make their clothes dirty or anything. So make sure you always tap off. Okay, this contour shade is super nice. I'm gonna go in with the darker one. I'm using an angle brush and I'm using the tip of the angle brush. Angu brush, okay, okay, Ling, different language. I'm using the tip of the angle brush to dip in, tap off, and then just like the actual contour here. Loving it. And then just using the same brush with the excess contour powder on the brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and just go over my nose. I don't like to be too precise with my nose contour because just can't be bothered to be precise with my nose contour today. Now I'm gonna go in with some blush, which is like my favorite part of the makeup. Adding a bit of blush just gives my face like a whole new level of light. I just feel like it makes the face look a little bit youthful, you know? I'm gonna go in with Peach Beach and look how much product came off. Listen, Makeup Revolution is not playing. Oh my God, do you guys see that? Oh my God, beautiful. This is a really nice blusher shade. I'm happy. And now I'm gonna go in, I'm not gonna go with banana powder just because I'm just over yellow powder. Like, don't ask me why, I just am. I like to use translucent, that's just me. Or I like to use like a peachy type of translucent powder. Again, that's just me. I'm gonna go in with probably Lace Chase. It's not too white and it's not too too yellow. It looks a bit like a neutralizer. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> okay, zooming you guys in. On camera, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of blind, so. On camera, to me, it looks good. I'm not gonna lie. And got my big up mirror here. It looks really good in person. Oh my God, Makeup Revolution is killing it with the base product. I have a bunch of eyeshadows, okay? I got a mini one, which is so cute. I feel like these are perfect for traveling. Oh, the packaging. Oh my God. Okay, let's look at you. This one's called Nudes and it's shiny as well oh my god oh <gasps> i think i might do pink just to go with my hoodie got a chocolate mint as well cute i feel like getting stickers and just like put stickers all over it just for the sake of it oh my god i'm looking at the picture the eyeshadow did look really ugly i'm just Personal preference, don't kill me. But looking at it here in person in front of me, it looks beautiful. Oh, give it me life. All right, so that's that one. And then this one is called Chocolate Orange. It's warm tone, guys. Why are you gonna do this to me, Make It Revolution? Don't know what eyeshadow palette to use. I think I'm just gonna try my best to use all of them. What do you guys think? I know you said yeah. Also have these as well. These are the flawless oils. So yeah, I got a bit of a challenge today. <laughs> Trying to use all of the eyeshadow palettes. I also got this one as well. This is the big version of the chocolate mint. Honey, 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 honey. Okay, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this for another tutorial. <sighs> I just need to take a deep breath and just take in the love that I have for Makeup Revolution right now. Like, wow. I'm gonna dip in to nudes. <laughs> so there's no names for the mini eyeshadows, as in like the mini little eyeshadow single thingies. There's no names. So I'm, I'm just gonna show you on camera what I'm using. So the first one I'm gonna use is this one right here, baby girl. Again, there's kickback, but again, not a big deal. It's not like the subculture one. Ooh. You know when you like tap off red eyes and there's like dust and you just can't help but be mesmerized by the dust and the shadow that's like floating around in front of you? Maybe that's just me. Anyway, <laughs> just gonna put that in my crease. Wow, that's pigment. Oh my God, zoom in you guys in so you can see. That is nice. You know what I like about this eyeshadow that I'm using on my eyelid? is that like it's not going patchy. That is one of the things that I hate about drugstore makeup brands is that some of the eyeshadows just go on really, really patchy and when you blend, oh God. Now that is on. Oh, ah! Now that's on, let's go in with the orange chocolate chip palette. I'm gonna go in with this one. Oh no, maybe this one. Oh no, maybe this one. No, I'm gonna go in with this one. This one, this one right here. Oh, <gasps> That is 
stunning. Okay, makeup revolution. What are you doing to my eyes? You're making my eyes like having little mini orgasm right now because it looks so stunning. Oh my God. Okay, the reason why I'm overreacted over an eyeshadow is because it's blending so beautifully, so easily. So if you are new to makeup or if you're looking for an eyeshadow palette that's just easy to use and that's good quality and affordable, check this out because I'm not having trouble blending out my eyeshadow. One of my other reviews, like the e.l.f. one, the eyeshadow just was not cooperating the way I wanted it to. Like it was going really patchy. I feel like with the Makeup Revolution one, it's just so much more like easier to work with i'm now gonna dip into this orange one right here this darker one blend it all out there's so much play time with these shadows as well like you can blend them and blend them and blend them and they won't set you know what i mean now i'm gonna see oh, i don't know what to literally nearly dropped this i don't know what to use what one should i use i'm gonna leave this on my bottom liner all right i am gonna dip into the orange again and i'm gonna dip into this darker shade right here and now i'm gonna go into the nude one and dip into this plum because why not mix plum and orange together there you go all right, now I'm gonna go in, or oh, I'm gonna go in with this nude. This shimmery shade right here is calling for me. Okay, that feels really nice and buttery. Oh. Ah! I'm just gonna apply that on my lash line. So what I'm doing is that I'm applying the shimmery eyeshadow kind of all over my lid, but not too close to my brow bone because I don't want that look. I kind of just want to diffuse the shimmery eyeshadow kind of all over my eyelid, but not really all over my eyelid. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and play with the foils. I'm very excited to play with the foils. So they have so many different types of shades. So they have like this really dark brownish type of shade. You can't really see it because the packaging is so shiny. So let me show you. Right, so they have like a khaki color. I am obsessed with khaki shadow recently. And this is very golden khaki. And this is a brown foil eyeshadow. And then this one is beautiful. This one is called Rival. I really want to put on my eyes. Okay, you're going on my eyes. I don't care. And it also comes with this little liquid thingy. It's called Intensifying Primer. So I presume, kind of put it into the um, the shadow and then you get like a, like a flat concealer brush or a flat eyeshadow brush and you just go ahead and like mix it and it'll turn into a liquid and you apply it on. Ooh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna do one drop. I don't wanna overdo it. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, that's, oh, wow. Oh my God. Makeup revolution went there, guys. This is so stunning. I know I put shimmery eyeshadow all over my eyelid and I know I'm putting this on top, which doesn't make any sense. But like I said, guys, I don't know what eyeshadow I'm doing. I'm just like, literally just going with the flow. Because I'm a woman, I always change my mind. I'm actually gonna use this chocolate mint eyeshadow palette, um, one of the colors around here. I don't know which one to go for though. I'm just gonna go for this one. I'm just gonna blend and just deepen my crease. Okay, I definitely recommend waiting until the foil is fully dry before you wanna apply any more eyeshadow because I'm just like kind of moving my foiled thingy. And I'm just gonna go in with an angled liner and kind of do like a eyeliner but using an eyeshadow. I did my eyelashes and my eyeliner on my waterline off camera only because just to save time and also I forgot to pick up eyeliners from Makeup Revolution. I do apologize for that. I need to start remembering to get that type of thing because I did it with the e.l.f. one. But anyway, I'm just going to go in with the mint chocolate eyeshadow palette and just buff out my lower lash line. Yes. I know the colors are a little bit weird. It's brown and pink, but I don't think it looks that bad. Maybe it's just me. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight now, and guys, does this not look like Bobbi Brown to you? But there's three in one palette. Let me see how much this costs though. <gasps> it's eight pounds! That means this is what, like three pound 50 each or something? No, less than that. Two pound 50 each. Oh my God, this is so good value. Okay, let me swatch you though. Oh, and it feels so old. Okay, it looks a little bit weird swatched all together, but you know what? Let's just roll with that. I mean, these are like highlighter bronzers, but still though, for eight pounds, 
oh my god and also you can like you can mix as well what shadows what shadows what highlighters bronzer type of thing you want to use i'm going to use this one i'm going to use a top two shades Do you see that? Oh my god. I'm having a good makeup day, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I I didn't think doing reviews would give me good makeup days because you just never know what's gonna happen because it's like a first impression, but this is literally giving me good makeup days. This is stunning, but I need to see a close up and see if like these highlighters give me texture. No, it doesn't bring out any of my texture. Oh, honey, you're giving me life. Okay, moving on to lips now. So I got something interesting from Makeup Revolution. This is their retractable lip liners in a pen form. So remember back in the day when you was like in school or something, or if you are in school, or I don't know, you know what I'm saying, or if you like stationary, you know you had these pens. This is like for like lips twister. And then, what do you do next? Oh my god, and then the lip liner comes out! So do you see that? That's a little bit of the lip liner. I'm gonna go in with the dark lip liner. Well, second to dark lip liner. Oh, these are creamy. Now, probably the only con I have to say is that the lip liner is not sharp. So when it comes out, it comes out flat. So you really gotta work it in order for it to be sharp. Like, you gotta apply it like this, not like that. If you know what I mean. Personally, I've never had problems with drugstore lip liners. It's usually like base products or eyeshadows that I have problems with or eyebrow products. But lip liners, I feel like a lot of brands, especially drugstore, can, can make a good lip liner. Like this is so nice and creamy. So I'm gonna go in and find a lipstick to wear. So I got these lipsticks and they're so beautiful. Look at this one. Look at that purple. Yes. And the packaging as well. It reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury so much. And this one is called Takeover. And then I've got this really light pink one as well. That's called Blended. <laughs> Me, if I was a lipstick, Blended. Look at that. That's beautiful. My lighting is quite strong. So... You know, it's hard to see like the true colors of some makeup products. Just bearing in mind, I'm just hoping that when I move into a different apartment or flat or house or whatever, wherever I move to, I'm hoping that my lighting equipment will be so much more better that we can, you guys can see the color properly. I'm gonna probably go in with this one. Okay, I just made a really nice nude. <laughs> There is a slight smell, but it's really lightweight. Like, it doesn't feel like a heavy lipstick, and it definitely sets, like, satin matte, not, like, matte, matte, dry matte. It feels like it's on top of the lips. Like, it feels really, really nice. It doesn't feel hydrating, unfortunately, which is not a big deal, because ideally you should always wear, like, a lip balm or something on your lips before you apply any lip products. That way the lip products can glide on smoother. But... I like it, nothing to complain about. Oh honey, you think I was done? No, 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 no. I got more lip products to put on because I am that girl. So this is the Make It Revolution. This is the matte lipstick and this is a metallic lipstick. I'm gonna go in with the metallic lipstick because I feel like when drugstore brands make metallic lipstick, um, liquid lipstick, sorry, it can be either a really good hit or a really, really, really bad miss. So let's just hope these come out good. I remember back Back in the day, like when they first launched, I bought a lot of their product. But their liquid lipsticks was always the fail. So this is gonna be really interesting. I'm hoping that they change up the formula because the previous formula they had, whenever you put it on, when it dried, it goes flaky, which is really, really annoying. So like when you're like talking or you're eating, it just goes all flaky and you have to like reapply like 20 times a day, not even like two, three times a day. Smells really, really nice. Reminds me of the Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks. Like it's got that really sweet cupcake type of smell. Oh, that's nice. Stunning. They definitely changed the formula, that's for sure. Oh my god, okay, done. Overall review now. Okay, overall, I actually liked every single product that was on my face and that's crazy because if you follow me you know i'm always honest you know if i don't like something i will not hesitate i will say it i will be like wow this did not work for me but even if a product that didn't work for me i wouldn't be like don't buy this product i wouldn't say that to you i would say give this product a chance because it might be something you like i've never thought i would ever do a one brand makeup tutorial and every single product i use was good Make it revolution. 
Oh my god, I am so happy that Makeup Revolution is one affordable, two have cute ass packaging, and three have good quality products like the actual shadows, the actual pigment, the fact that it offers a variety of everything, like from cute little packaging to professional looking packaging. Like, this is crazy. I am loving this whole entire look. I cannot believe I'm saying that. I'm trying to think so hard what I dislike and the only thing I dislike is probably like the lip liner. I wish it came out sharp, not flat. But even then, that's not a big deal because over time it will sharpen because, you know, you're using it more than once, obviously. No, I don't know. I mean, I guess another con that i could say is that the liquid lips it feels a little bit sticky but doesn't bother me to be honest because it's only a little bit sticky it's not like overly sticky and it doesn't make my lips look ugly or dry oh i'm just so happy right now i think my favorite favorite products that honestly shocked me was the eyeshadows and the concealers it is so hard to find a good eyeshadow palette that is so affordable and that is so easy to use and that doesn't go patchy they've definitely upped their form Formula for sure. Previous palette that I had, it was like a massive palette with like little tiny mini eyeshadows in it. And like the brown eyeshadows in there were just not pigmented enough and neither were the black eyeshadows. But these eyeshadows, the pigment is there. It's rich, it's creamy, it's easy to blend. It doesn't go patchy, which is one thing that I hate about eyeshadow when it goes patchy because I know it's not me. I know, I know it's the eyeshadow. Yeah, I just have nothing negative to say apart from like those two little things. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying it. I approve of everything that I pretty much got on my face. Wow. So that is the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well if you really like my videos and if you really like my videos, make sure you hit the bell button as well so you never miss a post from me. This video is not sponsored. Everything I'm saying is 100% authentic. I don't hold back when it comes to the truth and yeah, I hope you like this makeup look that I created. I winged it literally I love you guys so 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 much let me know if you still want me to review the revolution foundation stick <laughs> and maybe I could like do that versus another foundation I don't know let me know guys I'm open to anything my youtube channel is for you guys it's not for me so yeah I love you guys so much all right bye